How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to part 4 of the D16 Turbo build. Here we have a D16 Y8 uh, stock uh, oil pump that I'll be porting uh, on a budget. So you don't have to buy any race oil pumps or anything like that. So the tools you will need, they're somewhat um, on a budget. Uh, this is a Dremel from Canadian Tire or O'Reilly's or any hardware store will have this. It's about 40, 50 bucks and it comes with a kit. My kit is this. It's, I lost the packages for it. So uh, they're just little drill attachments to add to a drill or the Dremel. All right. So I got this uh, nut or this screw over here loosened up. As you can see, it started to strip. I put in the vise and then it, it started to strip here. So just grab pliers or vise grips and just squeeze right here and it, it should pop open. Now be careful when you open this because there's a spring inside. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a couple washers here to add more oil pressure to the pump, which adds more oil pressure, the better it is for your engine. So let's open this up. All right, once you remove the uh, nut or the plug off of here, grab your spring, wipe off the excess oil off your spring, put that off to the side. Um, I got some oil on the table here, but it's whatever, it's just a work table. And grab your plug and wipe off the excess oil off of that. And now we're gonna show you how to add oil pressure to this just by adding a couple of things to this plug. So I went to Canadian Tire the other day and I found these uh, these uh, ring uh, terminals here. Um, you're just gonna wanna get one of these out of the package here. And you're gonna want to um, drill through here to make it fit on top of your plug here, just like that. Um, these might be a little bit too small so I might have to go to the store and grab different ones, but that's all you do. If it's too small, like the hole's too small to put over top, grab a drill bit and go through it to make it bigger and then put over top of this. Like it, you can also use washers, but this right here, um, I have to do the, I have to measure it, but this measurement right here adds about seven PSI of oil pressure. <laughs> So this is what it looks like so far. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of the metal chunks already gone um, than before. But I'm going to keep going until it's as close as I can get to this lip around here. And then I'm also going to get um, under here. I'm actually going to go through this port and clean up around here as well to get a better flow of the oil. And then we'll move up to the, uh, the shimming and putting washers on the end of the spring on that bolt up there. So I'll show you guys once I get finished with this area and then I'll go over there as well. I'm almost there, as you can see. There's a lot of material gone. There's no more lip here. I got rid of the lip there. I'm just gonna get rid of this material right here and then we'll move to the shimming. Another uh, drill bit I'm using is this one, actually on my DeWalt drill here. And I just have it angled like this and I'm getting all the extra um, uh, material right here. And I'm gonna go inside here and get it all the way up here as well and get the rest of the material here. <laughs> So I'm at the stage that I like. Um, it looks like there's a lot more material than there actually is, but if you flip it, 
YouTube, there's no material left. And you can go with a bigger drill bit. I think it's a 3 8 drill bit you put it all the way to the end. But I'm not going to worry about that because these screws are really hard to get out and I don't want to strip them. Um, so now let's move to the shimming part. All right, I'm back at the workshop. For you guys, it would be two seconds, but for me, it was a few days. It was hard to find these. So you're going to grab your terminals here that I grabbed from the store. And you're going to want this um, metal piece to fit over top of the plug here. It won't fit, so you're going to have to do some drilling. So you're going to grab your drill bits and on your drill and drill through this hole here until it's big enough to fit over top of the plug. All right, so I got the drill ready with the drill bit. The drill bit's a little bit too small, but put it on like this and just go around in circles. I can't do this one-handed because I don't have a vise, so I can't show you guys what I'm doing, so I'll just explain it to you. So I'm going to put it on like this and just work the drill bit around in circles until this opening fits perfectly over top of the oil plug right here like this. So I'll show you once we get to that stage. All right, so I had enough material uh, drilled off here, so it fits right over top. So now I'm just going to sand this piece just to make sure there's no burrs or anything that's going to get into the engine that you don't want. And then we're going to cut off this extra piece right here. So all you're going to see is this part once it's on here. And to cut it, all you do is use pliers or a hacksaw or uh, wire snips or something just to cut that little piece off. All right, I got it on here. As you can see, it's not fully tight yet. Um, so you're going to want to get your attachment on your, on your ratchet here. Tighten it down and make sure you tighten it to the torque that it needs um to spec i'm pretty sure this one is 42 foot pounds i'm not too sure i also don't want to crush the uh the little washer that i have in there because these aren't the greatest material um they're pretty um weak but you could use one of these washers and then grind it down and put it on as well it's up to you uh, once you tighten it that down you have your uh there you have it uh, D16Y8 oil pump has been shimmied and ported for uh, turbo. Uh, I'm just going to clean up this area right here. Um, put in a cleaner. Make sure oh, there's no more debris in there because you don't want this getting into your oil. And yeah, done. If you could like, subscribe, comment. I have many more parts to come. Thank you.